Carr. Today we're going to talk really quickly about finger picking. I'm trying out this live video format and we're just going to talk a little bit about finger picking for uh, generally how you do it. So we're going to talk about it with a G chord, an A minor chord, and a D chord. So let's just get right into it. I'll show you the chords that we're using and then I'll show you the pattern that you can practice if you need to work on this. By the way, if uh, you're new to this, uh, in the comments below, put down your location. Like if you're in Los Angeles or in the UK or wherever you are watching this, I'd love to see and hear from you. And uh, thank you very much. Okay, here we go. G chord. I'm using the G chord. We're just gonna use our hand today. So this G chord, since I'm not going to be playing the A string, I'm going to skip over the A string. We're gonna play that note. So we're gonna play five strings. Uh, the, a, uh, the A minor chord, use your basic open position A minor chord like this, and a D chord. You can play it like this. I like to play it like this a lot of times. Now, if you need help with any of those chords, go over to my uh, videos about chords and I'll show you how to play them there. What we're gonna do today is we're going to look at, we're gonna look at this finger picking technique just like this on the G chord and the A minor chord and the D chord. So this is what I do, okay? See my wrist is up a little bit. I call this rocking back and forth. So I'm using my thumb on the E string, skipping over the A string, playing the D string with my index finger, and the G, B, and E strings with my middle ring and pinky. So I'm playing the bass note, index finger on the D string, all three of the other fingers, and then back to the D string. There you go. That was the G chord. Let's go to the A minor chord. Now we're going to move the thumb to the A string. Now let's go to the D chord and move our thumb down to the D string and move these fingers down also. Our index finger will be on the G string, the B string, and the E string. Now we're going to go back to G. A minor. Coming up on D. And back to G. I've had some questions on what is the tablature or what is the music for that uh, on different songs that I've done lately. And it came to my attention that maybe some people are not understanding exactly how to do a basic finger picking strum. So that's why we're doing this. Make some comments below and say, hey, you know, yeah, I know about that or let me know what you need, okay? Thanks. So that was it, uh, our basic finger picking G chord, A minor chord, D chord, the pattern that we're using, it's basically a one and two and one and two and, like that. Now we'll be going over some other finger picking patterns in the other videos and more videos later. D chord, but if you don't know how to do this, just get this down it a part of your repertoire, a part of your practicing every day so that you can be an awesome finger picker. Okay, that's all I have today. Thank you very much for being here and uh, leave a comment below and a like if you've liked this video. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye.